Author Drew Hayden Taylor released a new book called Me Artsy, a third book in a series compiled by Taylor. He also has a play which he wrote debuting May 2nd in Toronto, which is getting some rave reviews. It's called Gone in Indian. You can also find monthly articles from Drew at Windspeaker Magazine. Drew Hayden Taylor joins us on the show this afternoon. Drew, how are you? Oh, I'm adequate, sir. Well, first of all, congratulations on your brand new book, Me Artsy. It was released uh, April 25th. Tell us about that book. Well, it's a book that explores and deconstructs the Aboriginal artistic spirit. It's the third in a series of books. The first one was called Me Funny, that explored and deconstructed Native humor. The third one was called Me Sexy, that explored and deconstructed uh, Aboriginal sexuality. And this was the third one. Um, I wanted to go back to basics and find out why, uh, how our heritage affects and influences um, uh, our art. And uh, I got a group of 13 other people to sit down and write me uh, essays basically on what they do, how they do it, why they do it, and how, who they, how their, their uh, cultural background influences their work. Hey, Drew, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, growing up, you're uh, a Ojibwe, as I just said. How did you get the love for Aboriginal media? Difficult. I'm, I grew up uh, on the Curve Lake First Nation in central Ontario. And, I mean, it, it was. I grew up basically listening to people tell stories. And, uh, I mean, we had two television stations. And uh, this is going to go over the head of most of your young listeners, but they were both very snowy. And um, so I had some television, but I had a lot of stories, and I loved reading. I loved any manner of telling a story and sharing a story and, um, and, and making stories come alive. So since then, and since I've sort of discovered that various media, media and mediums of the world, I've, uh, I personally have written stories as a playwright for film, for television, short stories, novels, creative nonfiction, um, I wrote a musical once. And as well, 26 of your books have also been uh, translated into other languages. Yes, I have. Uh, I have uh, my novel, Motorcycle and Sweetgrass, has been translated into uh, Spanish. And um, three of my plays are going to be translated into Spanish. And I've had uh, some of my plays translated into um, oh, um, Arab, uh, Italian, and... Uh, oh, God. I'm, uh, oh, um, of course, uh, Czech. <laughs> Czech. Czech, yes, I'm big in Czech. My my native vampire novel was was translated into Slovenian. Wow, I'm big in Slovenia. Let's talk about God in Indian. Tell us about uh, that play, which debuts in Toronto May second. Uh, it's a play about. It's a darker play. I'm known a lot for my humor, but this play deals with a, a residential school survivor that sees her abuser coming out of a Tim Hortons and follows him back to his office and uh, basically confronts him and it's uh it's basically a duel of um of uh did he or didn't he um of, of conscience and of uh, accusation and I'll, i should also add too i have another play premiering that same day in saskatoon a saskatchewan native theater company is premiering um a new play of mine called crees in the caribbean how did the idea for God and the Indian come about? Well, I was originally commissioned, uh, not commissioned, I was the writer in residence for Native Earth Performing Arts in Toronto, and a challenge was sort of issued to me by the artistic director who said, uh, Drew, I don't want you to write something funny, I want you to write something serious. So I decided to pick, I guess, what you could call the most serious uh, topic I could think of at that time, um, residential schools, and the abuse that occurred in there. And so I sat down, and I wrote this two-act play detailing it, and it was produced last year in uh, Vancouver and did very, very well, and then uh, did so well that they decided to produce, do it again this year, but they wanted to co-produce it with a native theater company. In Vancouver, it was a fire hall art center, and uh, they co-produced it with the, I guess, Canada's premier native theater company in Toronto called Native Earth Performing Arts, and um, and so it's a co-production. It's going to start off in Toronto and then go to Vancouver. Well, Ojibwe author, playwright Drew Hayden Taylor on the show with us this afternoon. Well, Drew, the uh, the play is directed by Renee Morisot, best known for her role on North of Sixty back in the nineties. It also stars Thomas Hoff and Lisa C. Ravensbergen. Did you have a pick on those actors? Well, the interesting story behind that is I originally wrote it. I uh, wrote the, um, the native character for a man. I had, I had sort of in my mind envisioned 
Gary Farmer doing it. But uh, circumstances happened. He wasn't available. And then I'd heard through the grapevine that uh, the magnificent Cantu uh, Cardinal was interested in the project. And I was approached by the artistic director of Fire Hall Art Center to see if I would consider or is there any way we could sort of massage the play to suit uh, Tantu's talents. And I mean, I, you know, I'd hire Tantu to read a phone book. So I immediately just sort of sat down and thought, okay, how, how would the story change if I change it from male to female? And much to my delight and my luck, uh, I discovered that um, it added different dimensions and new aspects to the character in the story that I'm further entwined within the ongoing relationship between the two characters and, and ended up um, a much stronger play. So Cantu did the production last year, and this year she's off working on, I think it's called, I think it's Blackstone. And um, so we had to find somebody to replace her, and we were just lucky enough to find uh, that Lisa was available and interested in doing it. And lo and behold, we're all one big happy family. Do you plan to bring God and Indian to Alberta anytime soon? I would love to. I think it's one of these plays that has a resonance all across the country because there are so many people that were and still are affected by the whole residential school tragedy. And I think it's a play that has something to say to practically everyone. And given the opportunity, I would love to. True Hayden Taylor, congratulations on The God in Indian as well as your new play coming out. And all the best. Thank you very much, sir.